Alrighty, so we got this new new feeder when we are looking at the oh I think this new new main just uh played Big Bad Wolf. So we will win here and we can't rematch and Kung Fu and Shark can't rematch. So I think Kung Fu is getting kill all humans, I think, and Shark is Osteria. Um and then Kong Fu gets Big bad wolves, and then we get salt mart. Um, I think that's how it's gonna go. So let's get on with it. So we're still using the opera deck. Um, I think I'm just gonna carry the thing home uh, for the rest of Rumble. Because really, my crazed decks just aren't good enough, and I only have. Uh, two peggies, like one lead and one mythic, so I think I'm going to have to go with this. Uh, it does pose some risks, but honestly, um, you can still one-hit KO when characters come out. It can one-hit KO with most items, um, the vast majority of items. So it's not that big of a risk. Uh, whereas if I try with one of my craze decks, a um, lot of risk because they're always going to combo and combo bigger than me. So what I'm going to do right now um, is not going to combo because if you look at the cheer, I'm guaranteed to beat slot two. Instead, I'm just going to build a little bit of heal. Because I want these 12 heals to, to hit up. Now I'm going to win this match. Um, I honestly should have just put Cognac in. Um, but it doesn't matter because the two heals healed everything up. That's what's really nice about Witch. Uh, it's like way underpowered these days. But back in the day it was just such a fucking OP card. Um, not so much anymore. But nonetheless you can still use it. Uh, okay, just making sure I can still one hit KO. You can still use Witch effectively in circumstances such as that, um, just to make sure that you get a bunch, a bunch of heal going. Joe, still gonna one hit KO. I'm gonna go ahead and get this down just so I have the option. The combo, and we are set. Right there, bad luck. Alright, so here's the issue with uh, my Crazer deck, only CM1 on Bob. So I, I kept Peggy and Bob Mythics in here, um, and the rest of them are just Frannies, because I do like that option. Uh, look at this. So we got the 4 shield and the 3, so the 7 plus the 88 is 96, and I'm 77 plus 85 so i'm at 85 so i can pop this up with my cognac oh i didn't kill it oh that had bunker didn't it my bad i kind of fucked that up but that's okay that's okay sometimes i play dumb so what i'm gonna do here is we kind of have two options, realistically smart options. I mean, we can certainly do this, but it's never going to bomb over, and that's going to end things really quickly. Now, I could pop in my extra punch and have a real good chance of killing um, slot two, uh, which I'm leaning towards doing, but 
there's a problem here. If my first punch hits slot one, let's do some math here real quick. Um, so we got 19 bodyguard, right? So that's going to leave us with 25 punch hitting it. Cool. So even if my slot one punch uh, hits, oh, I have 25 and then I have another five. So it's fine. I should still leech myself in slot one. So no matter what now, but ideally we can punch slot two uh it'll only be for 25 and then i can have the other 44 uh, punch for my second combo because that bodyguard won't be there anymore i think after i kill it the bodyguard's gone i don't think it ends at the end of the turn just it ends when i kill it i'm not 100 percent sure there but if that's 44 plus 25 we're now at 69 Plus the 20, 89, uh, probably kill it, plus, um, let's see. Let's see how this plays out. So the punch got completely bodyguarded out, so I hit over there, and now it still has the bodyguard. Okay, so I don't kill it. Okay, mental note, if you kill the card with bodyguard, the bodyguard does not go away um, until the next turn. But what I missed there, I forgot about my cheer. So my first Franny cheered the second Franny. It just ended the match, so it was all fucking hopscotch anyways. All right, so we're just going to double up, uh, which we're not going to get to this heal by any means. But I'll get my leech on for the 100, which is nice. So again, I continue to make some sloppy play here. I'm just not... I'm just not with it, guys. So we never put a character first. This is a bummer right now. I do have disguised PCs, but not proper. Not ones I like. So this is definitely a bummer situation right here. And I'm getting super lucky they didn't combo. I'm getting super fucking lucky they combo that particularly. Because uh, I'm going to cripple it to nothing. Got a 98. Alright. That was a lucky bad luck hand. So. Crack wizard. I'm uh, still going to get him. Right. Okay. Seventy one. Yeah, I still got him. Ooh, that one's a little tougher. And the bad part is that this bomb does not come over. So what I'm gonna do is just build some heal into this, right? Hmm, okay. So we got two options here. Ideally, punch it slot one. I'm going to pop this in just for... Well... So there's a couple ways we can go about this. I'm not sure how much leech I have on um, this slot two. But... But I should be able to leech slot one no matter what. And I can leech slot two. And that's not going to quite be able to kill it if I do this. Um, because that 30, we're what we're really ideally looking at here. Um, we want to get a punch in slot one. So I can get some attack in slot one. And then I can pop it out from slot three. So what I'm actually going to do here, um, in case I don't, if I get the punch in slot 2, it's going to be 44, uh, which is going to get me, what, 17 down? Uh, and I'm going to get a cheer 23 somewhere. So this is, this is giving me some trouble. There's so many options here, right? Because the punch hit slot 1, I'm going to get a leech in slot 1, and then I finish it in slot 3, guaranteed. If the punch hit slot 2, 
my cheer might hit slot two, and then I ended up popping it through. Um, so with this cheer coming out, I feel like I'm pretty much going to end this motherfucker. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I think my leech is strong enough in slot two, but I'm going to give it some extra just in case. Um, and this way I know for sure my leech, ah, in case that happened. Uh, where the punch hits slot one, I don't get to leech, so at least I get some, I know for sure slot two leeches all the way up, and that way my heal hits slot one. Made the right choice. Okay. We're not going to risk that item, and that is why we don't know when a character comes. So, we are getting very lucky again that they did not combo, and here's the combo. Um, but it's so elite, we're just going to put top, 50 is going to be top HB. That slot one's going to hurt me, but not too much. Another horrible hand where we got super lucky, so it's nice to get those out of the way. Oh, well, this isn't necessarily a bad hand yet. Now it's not a good hand. We'll play the PC, and eh, this isn't too bad after all, to be honest. Um, the RNG in this game is not actually random. Everything is based off fucking spending. So I didn't spend anything this BG, so I'm not getting the best RNG. Um, I think there is an individual how much you spend is how your offense gives you an RNG, quite frankly. And then I think how the defense plays is based on guilds. So since Snoo Snoo Brotherhood is lower than us, their RNG fucking sucked, right? All those times you just saw where they didn't combo, every time we play Big Bad Wolves, it combos. That shit never happens uh, because they don't spend as much as them. So uh, next match will be a little bit funner. We'll play Salt Mart, um, hopefully make them a little bit salty. I don't know how much we've won in a row now. I uh, still want to get him in Siege. I'd still love to fuck him up in Siege, but we'll get him in Rumble.